Hi, this is Will, and I'm uh, going to review today the uh, Camelback Quick Stow Flask uh, against the Platypus 0.5 and 1 liter, uh, you know, bladders, what they call them, uh, flexible hydration systems. Basically the same thing. It's a little flask. Um, the reason I'm doing this, I, you don't see a lot of information on this. I think most people think they're self-explanatory, but there's a few tips and things that I want to go over on these that I think will help folks uh, and give you an idea to you know make a better decision or choice for whatever you're you're doing, uh, whether it be camping or hunting. Um, I really like these. Uh, I don't get you know I don't get paid for these. I purchase these, uh, they're, but they're awesome. I was in the military. I've used Camelback products, and uh, I really like these stowaway flasks. They're really lightweight. Uh, they're treated inside with a silver. Uh, uh, I can't remember the name. As you get older, you tend to forget the technical names. Being a paramedic, you think I'd remember all that, but no, I don't. Uh, Anyway, the silver that's treated, impregnated into the, into the inside of these prevents bacteria growth in there, which is really good. These don't have that. Uh, this is good if you're backcountry hunting or camping for a while and you use sugar products such as Gatorade and, and electrolyte and placements that have any kind of sugar product. Sugar creates bacteria, builds up in the, you know, in the very pockets in the bottom and, and can cause problems. So having the silver treated uh, product or the bladder being treated like that is a definite plus and worth the extra money. Uh, it'll save you from, you know, getting, uh, not necessarily dysentery, but, you know, getting some problems in the field. Uh, things I love about this, uh, wide mouth, you can add your products very easy to it. Uh, I use Gatorade a lot when I'm in the field. Uh, if you look at these other 0.5 ones that come from Platypus, very tiny, very hard to get your, you know, pour your little packets into, uh, whether you've added the water, you know, always add your water first, you know, so that you don't get the buildup in the bottom. But anyway, uh, it's got a wide mouth, easy to get to, um, makes it a lot easier to put your products into. Uh, the other thing I like about it is it's quiet. Uh, it's made of material that's not loud or noisy. This, now if you're a regular camper, this isn't gonna bother you. You're uh, you know, doing the PCT or you're going uh, Appalachian Trail, whatever your noise normal, that noise isn't gonna be a problem for you. But if you're a hunter and you're an elk hunter, uh, whatever hunter, uh, deals with big game, you're gonna want something quiet like this. It doesn't make any noise when you fold it up or cord in it. Um, it's just a big plus for me. The other thing I like about this is you can put up to 180 degrees of water in here. Uh, they don't, I wouldn't put boiling in it. Uh, they do seam these, so there's a chance, you know, boiling water could loosen it, but, or destroy the uh, silver coating inside. But you can do it at 180 degrees, 160, 180. It makes that a little hot water bottle for you. Uh, if you got you know knee problems or whatever from hiking the mountains or you strain something, you got a hot water bottle that'll you know help keep your your knee warm, uh, take away a little of the pain. Uh, you know the old rice principle. You know uh, anyway. I like that. Uh, you can also fill it with the hot water. Uh, what you can use it for is you're in your sleeping bag. It's cold. Uh, you can fill it with that hot water and place it behind your knees. Uh, it'll keep your sleeping bag warm and it also separates your knees. Slide in from the backside. Uh, behind your knees. It, it works like a little pillow. A lot of people like me, I'm a side sleeper in my sleeping bag. Uh, keeps your knees from uh, banging together and makes it real comfortable and it's warm. So if you wear, you know, uh, merino wool like I do, thermals, uh, it doesn't burn your skin. It keeps you warm and also leaves a little cushion for you. Uh, very effective. They put a little tag on the end where you can hang it to uh, air it out. These wear 1.3 ounces. Very, very light. Uh, they're Tiny bit more than that. I think these are one ounce. These are 1.3. Um, I definitely highly recommend these. Uh, and I'm going to go over some of the pros and cons. Another pro with this one is it has the liters put here. You have 500 milliliters, which is, you know, half a liter. And uh, so 17 ounces for you that do the ounces. Uh, it's on the side. You don't get that with either of the platypus uh, deals. Now, this is the one liter platypus. This is the 0.5. Like this is 0.5. This is their compatibility to that. Um, one of the, the pros to this one is, you know, this particular one is you can add the filter to it. If you're in a pinch and one of your bags that came with any of your Sawyer filters where you place your water in from your street, uh, creek, I apologize for my crazy dogs again. Um, you put your dirty water in here and you normally will, you know, squeeze. This is a squeeze filter. You can squeeze it through, squeeze the bag. It filters your water in a situation. Well, if you're in a pinch, these are the same thread pattern, so you can screw into either of these platypus bottles. They're universal. Uh, you can use any of the Sawyer filters on it in a pinch. Well, I personally don't need that, but if you're a normal camper, that might be a normal hiker. That's a good thing for you. This you can't do that with. But I always carry an MSR uh, quick shot pump, tiny little filter, handheld filter, 
and I, I filter my water and put it in here anyway, so it's never an issue for me. So for you, uh, you know, this might be a better option for those doing the PCT or whatever, uh, or you know, Appalachian Trail, whatever. Uh, for hunters, this is the way to go. Elk hunters, big game hunters out, out west, Alaska, this is the way to go. If you're worried about freezing, this can is so small it can be kept inside your jacket pocket. You can tie a loop on it around your neck, hang it. It's not going to leak. I'm telling you, these things are leak proof. Uh, I won't drive it over with a truck or anything to prove that, but they are really good. Uh, excellent product for the money. Another con to these is that they're expensive. These normal price is 20. These are like 795. Big price difference, but you get you know the antibacterial treating. You get a quiet fabric. You get a bite valve. You get a lot more, uh, a lot more for money. This bite valve also locks. It has a locking device, so it won't leak on you. Uh, you no matter how much you bite that squeeze, it's not going to leak till you open the valve. So it, it does lock once you screw it in. These will not leak. Um, these here, you can get the pop off one, which the it has a, the pro to that is it has this little cover where you can protect your little bite valve like again a water bottle. Uh, this does not, this, you can get dirty. It doesn't have a cover like you have on some of your, uh, bladders, like I have on all my, uh, Camelback packs. They have a cover. They haven't designed a cover for this one yet. So, uh, that's the only con on that particular, uh, on the Camelback, uh, quick flask, uh, stowaway flask. Um, other than that, these are like 785. You can get these at gohunt.com. Uh, great place to shop. No tax, uh, free shipping. I like those guys. Use them a lot. I don't get paid to say that. I like these. I just like these guys. These you can get at uh, Black Ovis, another company I like and use. Uh, Black Ovis, uh, they uh, have no shipping and no tax also. These are expensive. They're $19.95. Uh, but again, Black Ovis, another good company. Don't get paid to say that either. Um, I just want to give you some of these tips and hope that it helps you. Uh, you know, these, like I say, if you're going to use Gatorade products in the field uh, or any kind of electrolyte replacement or any, any of your powders, uh, this is the way to go. Uh, these work, but the noise factor for me just made it a, it, you know, it's a deal breaker for me. Uh, for the average camper, these platypus are great. Uh, for us, you know, hunters, elk hunters, backcountry people, military, this is the way to go. Anyway, that's my video. I hope it helped you. Like I said, I don't do this to get paid or get subscribers. I do it to help you folks out there. And I hope that uh, it helps you. My daughter set up this channel so I can do this, and I hope it helps. Thanks.